This video tutorial covers the exercise on site selection with online mapping services in the last portion of your business mapping project. So we begin by visiting the URL uh, of the online mapping service sponsored by the Center for Entrepreneurship of the College of Business at Murray State University. You can get to this link from uh, one of the two links in the syllabus, either for on-campus or off-campus access. And let's take just a second to see what we have here. This is a map of the service area of the Center for Entrepreneurship. On the left-hand side in the content area, you have a list of the types of data that can be displayed on this map. When you see a check, that means that that is the information that's being displayed at the current time. By expanding the population variable, we can see that we can do it either by county, which is what is now being displayed, or by block group. And then by expanding that further, you get the legend of the map so you can see what the characteristics are of the population at that level. Uh, if we uh, turn off a, a map at the layer at the higher level, it displays the map beneath it. So for any of these values, uh, as you can see, we have both county and block group data. You can move this in if you'd like to to see the the labels a little bit more. We have both county and block group data for each of the, the variables uh, that's listed in the map contents. So the first thing you might do is just explore this area by turning on and off uh, some of the layers and see what the impact is on the display in the map. So that for each one at the county level, we can see the highest levels within the area, and then if you turn that on block group, you can see the highest levels within counties. Uh, it's also possible to zoom in on a particular county by hitting the zoom button, selecting that county, and then at that point, the block group information becomes a little bit more significant, uh, as you can see at that level of zoom. Uh, if you are interested in learning more about how this works, uh, and exploring the capabilities of the system, move to the web mapping application help menu, which you access right from here from the help screen, and it gives you some idea about how that works. You can also zoom by using the wheel of your mouse to move to various levels. Okay, so I'm going to zoom to this extent, uh, and then move to the pan button so that I can move around if I need to in the map. Now let's tackle the project. Uh, to get this done I have the map up in one screen, I have the help menu in another, and then I have also loaded my Google Sites page to the site selection report. And these are the things, the information that I have to get to fill out the details of this report and make a recommendation to this organization as to where they should put their uh, offices or at least narrow it down to three block groups in the area. Uh, so let's go through those step by step and see how it works. Uh, notice the first thing I have to do is identify the counties with the highest population. So let's go back to the population map by county and, and you can see that the ones in dark green are the ones uh, with the highest level of population. Uh, so I'm now going to click on the identity tool with a little I and then go county by county among those with green. And notice that I can see the, the population values here for each of the counties. So Davies County with 95,000, Henderson with 46, Hopkins with 46, Christian with 77, Callaway 36, Graves 37, uh, and McCracken 65. So Davies with 95, Christian, McCracken uh, are the counties that, that I would list here and I would list the, the, those counties uh, as, as being the ones with the highest level of population. Uh, and that's why I answered the first question. Now you can do exactly the same thing with median level of household income simply by contracting the population, uh, not displaying that anymore, displaying the median household income figures. Uh, and now I'm looking for the three counties with the highest level of median household income. Once again, I use the identity tool uh, and click on the darker counties to see how that works. Now I'm looking for a slightly different variable. I'm coming down to 2009 median household income, and I identify the counties with the three highest levels there. Okay, once I've done that, I need to find counties with a combination uh, of those factors, which 
uh, will allow me to, to see which counties are going to be in the, in the running for the location of this office. So in that step, I perform a query to identify counties with 20,000 more households, a medium household income of $40,000 or higher. Now to query counties, I do the query county data button. And here you can see I have um, households for which I'm looking for 20,000 and household income of 40,000 or more. I click the button to execute those and I have three counties uh, which fill that bill. So the next step is to discover uh, which of those three counties meets the criteria for having 20% or more of its adults with a college education. Uh, and to do that I have one of two tools that I can use. First I can either check the data within the results box by moving to the last variable to see. So for example McCracken County has over 27% uh, and does in fact meet the criteria. Uh, or I can use the identity tool again uh, and select the county and move down to the bottom of the list and yes 25 percent in Davies County as well. So use those tools to decide which of the three counties meet that criteria. So if they meet all three criteria any of them from the perspective of the data uh, can be the site for the, the, the office. Uh, but now I have to decide which one of those is most centrally located. And then you would select a county on that basis and that would be the one that you would target. Uh, I'm going to use uh, Marshall County as an example here of the next step even though that's not likely to be the one that you would select. Uh, so I'm going to zoom in on Marshall County and go on to the next criteria which are that I need to find block groups uh, within the county that meet the criteria based on population uh, and education. So let me start by uh, doing that information for uh, Marshall County. I'll select population again but do it at the block group level and now I note that from southwest to northeast across the county uh, there are a number of block groups which are in the higher education level. If I want to get the specifics I can do that simply by clicking on them and noticing the population uh, 31518 here uh, to go to the block group level, I go down one, uh, and this is 1421. Sixteen forty two. So this allows me to find the block groups with the highest level of population. Uh, I can then look for educational attainment again at the block group level. Uh, and see the darker ones here. And I note that uh, again the counties in the northeastern portion of the block groups in the northeastern portion of the county are the ones which fit that criterion. So let me select one of those uh, and select the block group data. Uh, 2041 is the population. 25.42% uh, uh, is the percentage of uh, adults in the county with a high school I mean, with a college education or more and so that might be one of the ones I select. Once I've identified the three that I that I want to use, I use this number, the ID number to identify the block group. I record the values for population and educational attainment uh, and then those are the three block groups that I'm going to recommend. I now then go back to my Google Sites location and more specifically the site selection page and those are the, the block groups that I enter, enter in answer to question number five. Uh, so now having moved all that information over from the online map to the site selection report I have all the data needed to make my recommendation and then in item six I make that recommendation as part of, the, of, the, of this page of the site and then I simply save it up here and I've completed the site selection task within the business mapping project uh, and that concludes this video lesson.